Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the motherboards.org YouTube channel. I'm Elric Ferris, your host, and today we have something neat for you folks. Today, we're gonna to bring you the full review of the new Cisco SG300-10MP managed 10 port switch. Now, a lot of you people might ask out there, what is a switch? Well, a switch is what it takes you, you could use your router or a direct line in, and it splits up your computers so that you can use 10 additional computers on a single line. Or you can use PoE, which is power over ethernet, to hook up many of these to open up many more channels. Now, currently with these, you can get between eight and 48 channels through a single box or 10 to 50 if you use PoE. Now, this is geared towards the people that have a small business and right now are either using an unmanaged smart switch, but want to either use something that's more scalable or eliminate an IT person. So right now, if you have something that's, that's unmanaged, you have to go in and configure every single solitary computer that you have. And with this, you don't have to. It's basically plug and play. You direct your line directly in, you go up and just enable it through your computer, and then all of those things are enabled. So you can have 10 systems running flawlessly unmanaged. Well, excuse me, managed, unmanaged by you, that is. The system itself does all the management. So let's move in, let's take a look at the features, how you set it up, and at the end of the day, why it's worth your money as a small business owner. So here we take a look at the physical aspects of the new Cisco SG300-10MP. As you can see, all of your interconnections are here on the front. So basically you have one of these little things that connects up to your main system that's coming in, and then the rest of these hook up to all the systems that you want to be managed through the switch. That's all on the front. On the back, all you have is your PoE connection, which is your power over ethernet. And there's a little cable right here that plugs in and this would go to another unit. So if you had multiple units, you'd plug this in and then plug this in into your other unit. The only other plug on the back is actually the power plug, which is a little power plug like this and then plugs into it. So this is the stuff that you basically get what you're gonna do with it. You're gonna plug this in and then plug the rest of your cables in into the front. And those are the physical aspects. You can see it's really small. It's got plugs on the side. If you want to rack mount it, you just plug the little rack mount thing, screw them in there, and then put it into your rack, or it just sits on a desktop. It's not very big. So those are the physical aspects. Let's move on now to the setup. Here we take a look at the setup for the new SG300-10MP managed 10 port switch. For me, everything went perfectly plug and play. I went from my old little Netgear unit here to this. And let me just tell you, there's some things to talk about. This thing, all I did was plug it in and it automatically detected all of the systems that I had on my system. Currently in this room, I only had four additional systems, but that really number doesn't matter. All 10 of them work the same. All I did was take this cable right here, which was my main cable from my router. I plugged it into the first port right here, and then I plugged my other four computers right into here. Now I had to do no configuration whatsoever for me everything worked right off the bat. I just plugged it in, went and turned my computers on, went and turned my Apple TV on, everything worked flawlessly. Now, for some people, they do offer a management window. So what you can do is you can go into your Windows environment and you can type in 192-168-1-254. This will bring you up into a window screen if you actually need to use that for any of the additional features. But for me and my use for my business, I just plugged it in and away it went. Also, a lot of things that I did notice before with this neck gear, I had a bumpy road sometimes with getting my internet stuff and my Apple TV was very slow in loading. As soon as I plugged in this new switch, all of my systems were much, much faster. When I went to load my stuff, it buffered my movies for Apple TV so much faster, I was like, holy crap. So for me, this new managed switch is an excellent thing. All I had to do was go ahead and plug it in from my router and everything else was automatically detected. Nice unit, works very nicely. I just have to sit on top of a computer, very easy to use. So you've got a business and right now you have like eight or nine computers that you have all running on your system, but you have an internal IT guy right now who's going through and managing all these systems for you. With the new SG300-10MP, you no longer need an IT person. Like I said, you just plug it in and you saw through our setup screen, you just go in there, enable it. All the rest of your systems are automatically detected on that. Now, another thing that's very good about this, this product is currently coming to market at about $310. So that means you get a full managed switch with all the benefits of a Cisco product for the $300 price range. 
at the end of the day, I say that if you're a small business owner and you need systems that are managed, this new 10 port sw switch is something that you can very much have. And I think it's a serious hot product here on the motherboards.org YouTube channel.